it is going to tell you important make sure that all working remotes are present at the time of programming after you enter programming remote uh, mode it will delete the other remotes that are not available so i do have my only working remote with me this would also be available on the app and on the website here i would normally have product images but this is a brand new vehicle so we are uploading those but i'm going to continue to programming options Like I said, I am doing a proximity remote, so I am going to select FOB and proximity remote programming. I have 90 minutes to complete this programming. There are also two options for this car, but you will see that there is only one option for proximity remotes. Proximity remote is option number two. The first option is just for a standard remote that will not start your vehicle. How many remotes do you want to program? Please do not count your original remote. I would only like to count one. Do not disconnect the OBD or USB cable until programming is completed. Leave the ignition off. Open and close the driver's side door. Continue. I would like to program keyless. Make sure my ignition is off, so my ignition is off. Continue. System is ready to program keyless. So I'm going to please continue again. I have to input the PIN code that I have received from my dealer. My PIN code for this vehicle is 532704. I'm going to hit submit. I did receive that PIN code from my dealer. After clicking continue, within five seconds, use the top end of the keyless remote and press and hold the start button. So after hitting continue, I have five seconds. Programming successful. Would you like to program another remote? That was my original remote, and like we said, all remotes must be present. So I now have my new one. I do want to program another one, so I'm going to hit yes. After clicking continue, again, I have five seconds to hold the top of this remote against my push button. Continue. And it says programming successful. I would only like to program two remotes, so I am going to complete programming. I am going to back out until I have turned off the blue light at the bottom of my smart box. And as you can see, that blue light is now off. I'm good to unplug my smart box from the vehicle. I am putting the our existing remote away from the front seat. I have my new remote. And I have started the car. Once I start to turn the car off, my lock and unlock buttons do work on my first remote as well as on my second remote.